everyone, it's me ex Canadensis, and for today's video I wanted to unbox these G5 My Little Ponies that I bought earlier this week and um, just kind of share them and my thoughts about them. First of all, I just want to get it right off the bat that I loved the movie. It was so good and I was really pleasantly surprised. I didn't go in expecting to hate it or love it, but I came out really, really loving it. The animation was amazing, the characters were amazing, the story was really good, and then also the hints at G4 were super interesting and I'm really excited to see that go forward, so I will not be taking any G5 slander in this comment section. Thank you for understanding. I've actually been buying the ponies. I'm a My Little Pony collector and I have been for my whole life. Here's some representatives for my collection. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have like at least 600. I haven't counted in years though. Um, anyway, I bought these back when they first hit shelves um, probably a month or two ago. And I really enjoyed them and I filmed a review and everything. I just didn't end up uploading it for whatever reason. So I do have pet pet Oh my gosh, Pip and Sunny right here, and these ponies are amazing, but my main love is brushables, so I was really hoping I could get this set, and it finally turned up at my Walmart, so I'm very excited to be unboxing them. Um, and I also brought over representatives from each generation so that I could kind of compare them and talk about them and how I feel about the G5s and how I feel that they fit in. I actually really, really love the G5s. I think they're amazing. I think the quality on them and the play value of them is actually greater than a lot of the older ponies. Not to disrespect them or anything, but I really love when each generation brought something new to the table. And for example, well, G1 didn't have anything new to bring to the table, but I mean, they didn't have to compare to anything. They were first. Um, and they had so many poses and gimmicks and types of ponies. They introduced so many amazing things to the franchise. So G1s are truly one of my favorites to collect just because there's so much history and interesting things going on. I brought over Bubbles just because for some reason I really felt that she like represents G1 well and she's such a cool pony but she's not too like over the top. Um, and then I brought a G2 over as well. I actually only have two G2 ponies in my entire collection. The emphasis for G2 was definitely play sets and dollhouse type of stuff. This is actually my favorite generation in terms of how they look. Um, unfortunately they were not very popular in the US, so they're pretty hard to find here. Um, and I love their little rhinestone eyes too. They just really scream 90s toy to me and I really love them. Um, and then G3, of course, these are what I grew up on. Um, this is my favorite minty right here. And I just love G3 so much. I think they're so beautiful. I love the way they did the plastic with the shimmer in it. And um, the magnets were really cool. The play sets are awesome. And these just hold such a special place in my heart. And they're one of my favorites um, in terms of just how sentimental they are to me because, of course, I grew up collecting them and they kind of were what started. Actually, fun fact, the first toy video I ever made on this channel was a G4 My Little Pony review. Back when G4 was first coming out, it was the Rainbow Dash scooter video or Rainbow Dash scooter playset, but I, I got like 10k views on that. That's how I got my channel monetize, monetized so early. Um, here's Dewdrop Dazzle from G4. G4 is also really special to me because I started... Um, as like a tween and teenager, this was when I decided to become a toy collector was with G4 and I really, really love them. I carried these everywhere with me. I, I just love them so much. So they really mean a lot to me as well. And then G4.5 is really recent, but I actually really like them. I know people really don't like them because they kind of look like cats, but them looking like cats is perfect for me. I really like it. And this is Fizzy. Love her. I need to get the rest of these five below ones before they're gone. Um, and then, of course, G5. I think G5 is really interesting. These ones specifically are so cool. I really wish we could get these, but with hair rooted in, because I just prefer brushables. But these have articulation, and it's not ugly. Like, you'll know what I'm talking about if you have any G4s that are articulated. They're often, like, ugly in the way that they articulated them, but these are so nice. And... For the first time since, like, G1, we're getting Pegasi with painted wings. I know there's been Flutter Ponies and Breezies and stuff, um, and then Starcatcher and G G3, but those were always kind of exceptions or special lines, but to see, like, mainline ponies have painted wings is super interesting to me. Unfortunately, they don't do it on the brushables. I'm hoping we get some brushables with the painted wings, though, because I really love it. Also, interesting enough, they brought back only having your cutie mark on one side. It was in the movie, too. I don't know why they did that. It's very interesting and it's not the same like look she has it on her left on one of these and on the right on the other one i don't really know what that's about also um g5 is the first to introduce different body types in the main line i'm not 100 percent sure if it's present here but how cool is this if the if if it's present here we will see but having different body types on these ponies instead of just having wings on one 
is so unique and distinct. I'm really excited about that. Um, I know G1, like, had different body types, but it was mostly, like, you know, the Flutter Ponies were skinnier or the Sweetheart Sisters, stuff like that. So those were kind of, like, different. They weren't just in the same lineup like this. Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts. I love My Little Pony, so I just want to talk about them. Anyway, now we are going to unbox the G5, so I will be right back. Oh, I guess I should show you their packaging first. So this was the packaging that these two came in, and these sets retail for, I think, $8? Possibly closer to 9 which is honestly a really good deal considering you get the articulated pony toy. Normally, um, brushable ponies are $5. Throughout all of the generations, they've stayed at around $5 each. I actually don't know about G1, but even accounting for inflation, they keep the price pretty similar. But this is a special set with all these accessories, and the accessories are actually super cool. I will say that I'm extremely bummed that she doesn't come with a tennis ball for her wing for her um, horn, though. But this is Izzy, and this is a Tea Party playset. There's actually playsets of the locations from the movie, but I haven't seen them anywhere. If y'all know where to get those, please let me know. Um, and then this set is like the first brushable set and it is a multi-pack. It comes with the main five and yeah, it's called Unicorn Party Celebration for some reason, I guess because they come with these unicorn horns. Right, so here are all of our ponies out of the packaging. I want to say that these were all really pleasant to unbox. Her package was just a blister. Her package actually includes plastic, which Hasbro has said that they are trying to move away from using plastic in their packaging. And this one is quite a bit. It's just like a vacuum molded plastic around her and her things. I think they kind of felt the need to do that just because she has so many little accessories, but this set had not a single piece of plastic at all. Well, the toys are plastic, but you know, no waste plastic. Everything was cardboard or paper. Even this, this is a bunch of surprises. They're wrapped in tissue paper. How cool is that? So I really have to commend Hasbro for that. That's awesome. I'm really glad that they did that. Um, so here is the brushable set. This is the one that I am really interested in talking about first. So they all have different hairstyles, which I'm very impressed by actually, because it's very rare for My Little Ponies ever since like, um, I guess around G2 to have hairstyles other than maybe that the hair was rooted in curly. Um, Sunny has a braid and then her tail is just left alone. They have, it's nylon hair, but it doesn't feel the softest right now. So I'm I'm probably going to wash them and just see if it feels any better. I think it might be the tinsel that's throwing me off. I do love tinsel, though, and these are definitely meant to be, like, a special release, and that's why they have the tinsel. Um, but you need to be careful when you buy them in stores because you can get ones with, like, really messed up hair. There were a couple that were just straight up missing a pony, so just pay attention. Um, and this is what Sunny looks like. Unfortunately, they all actually do have the same bodies. I'm so bummed about that because these have different heights, just like in the movie, and I thought that was so cool that they had different body types completely like this, but unfortunately the brushables don't continue that. I really hope they change their mind on that. They do actually have slightly different body molds, but it's just because this one has the wings on it, you know, but she has like a different shaped leg and stuff. I really love these. I love that they've brought back the Clydesdale feet for female ponies. It hasn't been done since G2 and I really like it. It for some reason became a delineator between male and female ponies back in G1 and they just kind of stuck with it. Um, but I honestly really like the Clydesdale feet. I think it's really cute and now it seems to just be every pony has it, which is awesome. And they have eyebrows, so I believe G4 introduced eyebrows. Applejack just inexplicably had eyebrows. They might just be eyelids, but I always thought they were eyebrows, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I am on the fence about the eyebrows still. I think sometimes they look good and other times they look a little off. They looked fine in the movie though. Um, the thing that I was more pressed about in the movie is that they had like human teeth. Um, but the animation was so, so beautiful, so I didn't really even notice half the time. They do only have cutie marks on one side, so they have a display side and a non-display side. Um, G1 always had it on both sides. I think G2 did too. Yeah, so G2 had it on both sides. And there might be exceptions within each generation. Um, G3 had it on one side as well, and then G4 as well. So we're back to, I mean, we're continuing the trend. But I thought it was so interesting that in the animation it's also on one side, because that begs the question how this is happening. Like, does this count as, like, a continuity error in the show? Or, like, how does this work? I don't know. Or maybe I was not paying attention, but I'm pretty sure they only had it on one side in the movie. I was very surprised because I don't think in any other animation they've ever had it on just one side. Like, I maybe in G3. I don't 100% recall, but it's very weird. Um, yeah, but here's Sunny. Super cute. There's your cutie mark. The non-display side. And I do really like the hair. The hair is very thickly rooted. It's all the way down the head and it's in two rows as normal. That's literally been how they've done it since day one. Well, some of the G1s only have it, like they'll have a forelock that's one row and then it will continue and then eventually turn into two rows. 
Um, but ever since then, they've kind of done it in two rows, so it's the standard. Um, next up, we have Hitch, and um, they did his hair molded just because, I guess if they cut the hair too short, it would just kind of stick up, so I understand why they did this. I don't really mind, personally. Um, they, I would be more than happy to see him with, like, super long hair like the Big Brother Ponies always had, but I don't mind this decision either. He's got his little cutie mark. And his face is super cute. I actually think his face turned out um, one of the best in terms of, like, I think it's because the eyebrows are darker. I'm not really sure, but I really like the um, male body mold and the male face mold for these. I actually really like him. Um, I wasn't too big of a fan of the male G4s in a lot of cases, just the way the toys turned out. So I'm really happy with how he turned out. Um, like, Shining Armor just looked like a mess. I don't know. Um, next up, we have Izzy. Izzy's my favorite pony so far in the new generation. It could change. Um, cause I really like Pip's like overall appearance, but I just think Izzy's adorable. Um, and her hair is in these ringlet curls right out the package and they are really holding well. I'm really impressed by it. And she has two colored hair with the tinsel in it as well. And I just really like that they did this hairstyle. It's super impressive. The tail definitely needs wash and condition though. Like, look at that. But this is just kind of box hair, you know, it was not really tied down in the package. It's just kind of loose. It has like a one tie just holding it to the package. Um, so you definitely are going to need to like brush through these and give them some TLC when you first get them but honestly I like doing that it's part of bonding with toys for me um and I'm really impressed I forgot to mention this their heads are on ball joints that's been done I think in G1 they might have done it a couple times but it doesn't really get done I think they've started doing it with yeah so they started doing it with G4.5 um and I'm really happy to see it continue um I am bummed though because in the movie they have, like, she had a white horn with, like, interesting patterns on it, and they aren't doing that here. And same with the wings. Um, I really hope that they do it for some brushables. I think they actually did it on the fashion style, like, the bigger ponies. Um, I'm definitely going to try to get a hold of those as well, but they have not showed up at my stores yet. Um, but I do think they actually did do the different colored horns and stuff, but yeah. So this is Izzy. That's her display side and her non-display side. Here is Zip. So originally I didn't really like Zip for whatever reason from like the one trailer that I watched. I just didn't think she was gonna be my favorite, but I actually really liked her in the movie. She was a really cool character. Um, and I was worried about her voice actress as well, but the, she did an amazing job. So I'm very happy about this character. Um, I think it's interesting that they didn't give her her hairstyle. They could have done something like this, but I guess maybe they thought it would be better to make her a full brushable like the others. I do hope we get one like this though. Um, but there, there is one of these of Zip, right? I just haven't found her yet. I really do like her hair long like this. It is very cute, even if it's not accurate, and you could just cut it. Honestly, when I was a kid, this is what I would do, because I didn't want to cut their hair. I was scared to do it, so I would take it like this. I would fold it over, and then I would put a rubber band here, and then you still get that hairstyle, but you don't have to cut the hair. You see that? And then you can style it with gel or something to get it to um, stay in the mohawk like you like, um, and then you don't have to cut the pony's hair. So that is a recommendation. I used to do that for, like, if they had bangs, like Twilight, I would take a front section and loop it over like that. And I was always really proud of myself for coming up with that. Obviously other people have done it, but for me, I came up with it. So I was really proud. Um, here is Zip. Very cute. I actually never noticed her cutie mark. It kind of just denotes that she's a princess. I'm really interested in how these work in this universe because like magic wasn't a thing. Mine has a little stain on her from the packaging, but it's not too noticeable. And there's her little wings. Um, Again, I really hope we get some with painted wings because that was one of the coolest parts of the Pegasi designs and that ball jointed head. And then we have Pip here and hers is a music note with a crown like embedded as part of it. I think that looks so cool. Please excuse my nail. I broke it at work today. <laughs> She's so cute. I really love her hair too. I It's one color with like pink in just like singular strands of pink throughout so it gives it this really interesting dimensional effect it might even have some like darker purple in there i can't 100 percent tell and then the tinsel just kind of needs tamed a little bit and she's adorable but again it doesn't look as much like her without the really interesting painted wings you know and like look at the difference in height it's so interesting she's so cute i definitely love these but in the spirit of my little pony brushables are like the thing so i'm really glad that they are giving us both options with G4, it took a long time to get a full set of these, like, accurate molded hair ponies like this. So I'm really glad that they gave it to us straight away with um, G5. I know in G4 there was, like, a pony collection that came out before the show actually came out with molded and painted hair, but they didn't do all of the ponies in it. 
so I don't really count it. Alrighty, here is Izzy from the, um, what was it? Is it called something? Crystal Adventure set? I'm not really sure, like, what all the things are referencing. I think they're just kind of fun. Her hair is painted in a gradient, and it has to be molded a little bit goofy so that you can still, um, have mobility in the head, so, um, it's molded so that you can have the head straight up like this, so I'll probably display her like this, but so it'll have kind of a gap there, you see what I'm talking about, but it's not too bad. And I really like her face here. It's actually a different printing than the brushable, and the size is different too. I honestly prefer the, like, proportions of these ones. It's very interesting. I would think that these would just be that mold, but, like, cut so that they could do these, but it's not. I thought I think that's very interesting. Oh, mine is a little paint smear. That's gonna be easy to remove, but that's interesting. Pay attention when you're buying them before you get them. There's her little cutie mark as well, and the tails are articulated, which they honestly didn't have to do, so I really approve of that. Are these? They are. And, of course, her arms and legs are articulated as well. I guess they're all legs, but, you know, <laughs> they are articulated. She can lay fully flat. Um, she can go a little bit past that for everything, but, you know. This is going to be really fun for, like, photography and for playing with her as well. She has this um, purse thing, saddlebags. Adorable. Such a good idea for the toy. And you could, of course, use them across the toy line like that. Very nice. Alrighty. And then she has this hat. I really love this floppy sun hat. It's awesome. So let me get it on her. And then it has these little holes in it. I imagine she comes with some um, little gems to put on. I'm not sure. I forgot to open this, so I'm gonna stop and open this real quick. This is the Unicorn Party Surprises. Is that a selfie stick? Oh my goodness. I guess that makes sense for Pip. All right, let's open it up. Okay, so we get a comb. Just a very rarity-esque comb here. And then these are the little unicorn headbands. I guess this is referencing when they all um, have to pretend to be unicorns for a minute. Which, actually, now that I realize that, I like it. And that's what it looks like on them. And you get one for each of the non-unicorns. Including Sprout. I don't know how it's going to fit on him. Not Sprout, oh my gosh, Hitch. It fits on him well. Good. <laughs> Alrighty, and then there's this little necklace thing. Let's stick it on somebody. Oh, it's too big. Maybe it's for him. It's, like, big. Weird. All right, and then this little brush in their size with a little rose on it. The selfie stick for Pip. They can't hold it, but it's still a cute piece. I imagine this is actually from Little's Pet Shop. No, it looks like a unique mold. Interesting. They actually had selfie sticks in Little's Pet Shops. So that would have worked. And then this is a barrette. Oh, I'm stupid. This is a barrette. It's just very um hard. I don't like this style of barrette because they pop open, but... You get a rose one and a heart one. And then this little bracelet. I love these little bracelets. They're so fun. And there we go. And I really appreciate that they're in tissue paper much better than putting them in plastic. All right, back to Izzy. We have this gem that we can pop open. I'm not a big fan of this piece because once you buy all of these, you're gonna end up with a bunch of these. And they don't really have a lot of play value. I would have figured something out as a kid, but I don't know. Once you have, like, four of them, that's just too far. But it is, like, cute, I guess. But it's kind of a cop-out instead of just using, like, a cardboard box like the other one did. Oh, my God. She comes with a rug. Oh, I love that. It's like a placemat. That's amazing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, and she does come with little things that you can stick in the hat. All right, sorry I cut away. I wanted to get these in better. This is what they look like. So you get a small button, a larger button, and then two hearts that are the same size, just different colors. Love them. I'm not going to leave them arranged like this, by the way. I am aware it's horrendous. All right, and then you get this one that takes two holes to use. So this is the one that you can use on the bracelet, and it's Izzy's cutie mark. I love that. And these two also came with this bracelet. It's like a friendship bracelet for everybody. This is, I guess, like a duster. That's adorable. I wonder why it has that, like, handle? Because she certainly can't hold it. Interesting. Oh, and there's holes for the um, gems here as well. But she only comes with four. And then she has three bracelets, so she can give them to her friends if she'd like. Or she can just wear them all and be totally blinged out. That's what I'm going to do. Just completely bling her out. 
on one arm. That is adorable. I actually really like these. I have never seen bracelets molded like this for My Little Pony before. I love the rug so much I can't get over it. It's so cute. And then we have a bunch of stickers. I hate when these are included as surprises because I'm like expecting actual toys, but they are fun. It's okay. I'll tolerate it. There's the stickers. And then here's a sticker of Izzy and another one of Izzy and you get her cutie mark here and her horn here. See what I'm talking about? How she has like a white horn, but on the toy they didn't do it. Such a bummer because these are the ones that are supposed to be more accurate, but it's okay. And then she also comes with a tea set. So she has three teacups that are super cute. I feel like these are all unique molds. A lot of the playsets for G4 used G3.5 molds, so I'm really happy to see unique molds. And it seems like this is how it's intended. It's interesting that they're leaving zip out of a lot of the sets like this, because this, the color scheme here is telling me these are the three characters that this is made for. Um, sorry, I have these reversed, but you know, like that's makes sense. So it's interesting to me that Zip is not going to be included, considering these three seemed to be closer and Pip just kind of tagged along. I don't know. I really hope they don't start leaving Zip out of things, especially when the actual show premieres. I'm kind of worried about that. But um, yeah, maybe they just opted to do three and the colors and it's just a coincidence. Um, but yeah, so that's it for the actual review. I'm sorry I've been a little bit rambly. I haven't talked about My Little Ponies with anyone in actual years and they are a big part of my life they mean a ton to me and I love them so much so I'm just really excited to be able to share them with you guys um and I hope that you enjoyed the video please let me know if you did it would help a lot because um I have a feeling this is going to tank on my channel which is okay because I just wanted to talk about these regardless I really really do love them I'm very happy with them I really, in, like, I really like the brushables as they are. They're very comparable to the G4s. And I thought it was interesting that people were talking about how low quality they were when they're the same. There's a difference between not liking the design of them, like you don't like the eyebrows or you don't like the eye style or something, and, not, and saying something's low quality. Something's not low quality just because you don't like it. My Little Ponies have always been either one or two hunks of plastic with hair molded in and like a couple of stamps, you know? They, they've they never been over the top in quality or detail. So I think it's very interesting that people are trying to take these down for being the exact same thing My Little Pony has always been. And I really enjoy them. I like that we've gotten a new body mold. It's very reminiscent of G2 to me, which is why I really like it. I think it's kind of a mix between G2 and G4 for me. I That's kind of why I like G4 too, because they really look like the um, G2s, at least in proportion. Um, and I can't wait to see more from G5. I really hope we see more types of ponies. G4 was such a letdown with the way they gave us very few actual, like, different ponies. It's weird to me that G1 gave us a million different types of ponies, was very successful with that, and then G2 gave us very few, just the generic, and then G3 also gave us the generic with Breezy's like, a couple of special ponies that, but again, like, those were, like, special edition. They weren't just regular like in G1 they would just release some really cool like butterfly ponies out of the blue or like even if they were just going to do a bunch of normal brushables they'd be like these ones are rainbow ponies they have rainbow hair and rainbow printed wings you know like they would do something interesting like that and I feel like G4 kind of failed to do that at the very end they did sea ponies and like did they did a hippogriff doll right there were like a couple of dolls of different like species I guess they don't not different species but different types of ponies but they didn't really give us like a lot of variety as opposed to G1 which gave us mega variety so I just think that's very weird that they've kind of regressed since then and it seems like the universe for G5 is the same as the G4 universe so hopefully they can expand on that and give us more types sorry this is um, one of those ties from the these ones box um hopefully they can expand on that and give us more interesting types of ponies I would love to see it um, but regardless, even if this is just like G4, um, I'm very excited about them. I can't wait to start seeing non-main character ponies implemented into the toy line. G4 also kind of failed in that regard for me. That's why collecting G4 kind of became stale because they would release maybe 10 new characters a year. So if you weren't trying to collect 100 of the G4s, which why would you? Because they were almost always identical. They would have like a different shine in the eye or something, something stupid like that. If you weren't trying to collect them like that, which no, um, no offense if you were, I just personally wanted more, you know, characters like this. Um, G4 was very disappointing in that regard. I still really love them and they mean the world to me and 
I'm very, very glad that they happened and I enjoyed them so much, but I just really wish they had made more characters. It's such a bummer. Uh, so I hope G5 can expand on what G4 did and do better than them and maybe bring us back some of the some of the cool stuff from G G1, please. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it for this video. I would love to know what you guys think. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Please let me know why and tell me what your favorite generation of My Little Pony is. If you're not aware of them, this is what G1 looks like. They were kind of matte colored for the most part, but if you look up G1s, there's a huge variety, but this was like the standard G1. This is an original Bubbles, by the way. This is not a reproduction one. I don't know. There you go. I don't really have a lot of reproductions. I have a few that I found at thrift stores. Um, and they have really high quality hair, actually. They're really nice. This is a, you know, really old pony and it's still really, really nice. And yeah, they're um, airbrushed, I believe, also. These might be stamps, but I know these are airbrushed. And then we have G2, which were, they just kind of look like this. There were some interesting ones and they all have little gems in their eyes and yeah, they were just like skinnier G1s, but with less variety, but I just love them. I just really love the body mold. They're so interesting. Um, also, G1 had like a hundred different body molds. They had so many. And then G3 had a lot less body molds, but you see how they're on this like shiny body? I always thought that was so pretty. I don't know. And they're very similar to G1 in that they're just kind of a solid pony. Very few of them have articulated heads. And then this is G4. This is G5. I didn't bring G3.5 in. Sorry, I probably should have. And then I don't have any G1.5s, actually. Uh, but they are exactly the same as the G1s, anyway. And this is G5. This is going to be the standard for G5, not these. Even though I wish these were the standard, just with hair, these will not be. These will be. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, especially if you watch till the end, because I know this was kind of long and rambly. I just... I have a lot of pent-up pony talk to get out of me. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. For real, for real this time. Bye!